Chinese government say they are trying to take tough action to plant the United States since 2007. This news comes a little after a year since the U.S. Congress quietly lifted the ban on horse slaughterhouses in the USA. The USDA said they opposed the slaughter of horses, but they had no choice. But they did not elaborate on why they opposed the slaughterhouses. Colorado News. Nine News reported that the awarded theater shooting suspect may plead not guilty by reason of insanity on the upcoming trial. This news was brought forth by James Holmes' lawyers. Attorneys say not knowing whether the prosecutors will seek a death penalty impacts what plea the defense will actually use. Holmes is charged with multiple counts of first degree murder and attempted murder. The Barry Courier reported that meat processors, processors, inspectors, USDA, and other government staff met with Com Commissioner of Agriculture John Salazar to discuss ways local producers may be able to slaughter, process, and market their beef through San Luis Valley processing plants. Salazar said that he wants to create an incentive program for local processing, but he has not yet elaborated on what that will be. Now, most of the news today, the Valley Courier reported that Almosa High School will soon have their stadium. The, high, uh, the Almosa High School stadium project prepares for bidders. If all goes well, Almosa High School will have a new athletic complex for the 2013 football season. Before anything can begin, the Almosa City Council must approve the construction plans. If all goes well, construction will start shortly after April 17th. In Adam State News, Adam State University's own L'Oreal Carter has been named to the National Suicide Prevention Group. L'Oreal has partnered with students and personnel throughout campus to implement the first student-led suicide prevention program campaign called SWAG, which stands for Suicide Watch Awareness Game. As part of her newfound duties, L'Oreal must travel to Baltimore to work directly with the Lifetime Board of Education and Board of Directors.
The snow coming, there's dust on the wind And the air is frozen, it's frozen again I forgot what it feels like to be in the middle of this Alone in a cave of darkness We try so hard to stay out of the middle of this A moment ago, none of it really What it feels like to feel like this On the edge of horror and sadness We try so hard To stay out of the middle of this A moment ago None of it really mattered Somebody was here a moment ago Already on borrowed time we are living we were there a moment ago When did the winter get so from Adam State women's basketball team. We have a lot of talent on the team. Everybody is a really solid player. Um, we're pretty close as a team also, so I think there's a lot of chemistry on the floor. We are able to read each other well and know what each other's gonna do, and there's always that will to play hard and to hustle, so I think that's a, a positive for us, and um, we always are trying to execute and do what we can the best we can. Um, we have a lot of strength in our posts, and we have a lot of great shooters outside, and uh, point guards do really well controlling the ball and containing on defense, and all around I think we just work really well as a team together. Saturday was a really great game for us. We played Metro State, and we won by four points in the last ten seconds of the game. It was a really exciting finish. Um, everything was just clicking for us on all cylinders. Our girls were playing really well. We had a lot of communication. Um, our plays were just really well executed, and uh, the crowd was really, really good that night. We uh, had a lot of energy in the gym, and it was a really exciting finish, and it was a good win for our girls. The main thing that helped us beat Metro, I think, was uh, all the teamwork and the talking and the communication. Um, we 
you know, had a lot of voices on the bench helping out to call plays and sets so that our girls on the floor knew what was going on. And our girls were always talking on defense and um, talking plays, communicating, and they had a lot of energy on the floor. So I think between talking and having a lot of energy, um, there, you know, was no way they could really be stopped. And, um, you know, with all that combined, it puts, puts together a really good game and a really good win for us. Stay classy, Adam State. <laughs>